To create a new email in your account, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it as part of a new campaign build through the campaigns menu, or you can do it directly through the emails menu, which is where I am now. Uh, to start, just click on create new email. You might have more than one template to choose from. Just choose the one that's most applicable to what you want to build and use this template. Give your email a name. It's just an internal reference, so just something that uh, makes sense to you to refer back to. And then you're taken through to the email building page. So as I said, email name is just an internal reference. Uh, the subject here is what your contact will see in their inbox, so obviously pay attention to that. Um, the category, just leave that blank um, in this instance, and the from and reply to address will be automatically populated for you. From there, we'll have the default template for you beneath um, and uh, all of your options that are available to you on the right hand side. So it uh, very much just depends on what you're trying to build, um, but there are a few important points to note here. Uh, you'll find that your header, if I scroll over here with my mouse, you can see that there's no pencil and um, dotted line around the header. That means that that header is locked. Um, if we go down the bottom, you'll also see that for the footer as well. So uh, the header and footer will be locked just to ensure that you always go out with your branding and with the unsub link and your contact details. Everything else in between, as you can see with this editable, with this uh, pencil icon, everything else in between is editable. So to make a panel active, just click on it and then you'll see the panel options above it. Uh, so you can see we've got a few options here. You can either delete a panel, you can duplicate a panel if you've got two that are quite similar. You can build the first one, duplicate it and then tweak the second one to suit. You can move a panel up one, down one, or you can pick up a panel and move it any way you like in your template. Uh, there's also some options in this wheel here. I'll show you that a little bit further down the track. I'm just going to delete this panel just to show you how we, um, we start off completely. Um, so all of these options, like I said, on the right hand side, it just depends on what exactly you want to build, but you can simply uh, drag and drop whichever option you like. So for instance, if you wanted to have an introductory panel, this one's quite popular, the text and image one by one. So we just pick that up and drop it in. And you can see here we've got the panel option bar, but because this panel includes text, it also includes a text formatting bar as well. So uh, like I said, uh, it just depends on what you want to do here, but there are a few import important things to note, including, if I just take out this text for now, we can pop in placeholders so that um, you can personalise your email, which is obviously really important. So firstly, pop in a greeting, dear, to, hello, whatever you like. And then over here on the right hand side, you can see placeholders. If we click on this drop down, you can see a whole list of um, applicable placeholders that you might wish to use. Uh, the most applicable in this case is contact first name. So if we do that, we would then, uh, as the email goes out when it's, uh, when it's activated, it'll automatically um, populate with the first name of each contact in your database. So like I said, personalizing your introduction. Uh, then over here on the left here, you can see the little camera icon. If we click on that, you will have the options uh, as a default of your photo, the sender's photo and the sender's logo. So again, if you're looking to do an introduction here, you would choose sender's photo. And we'll just pop that in. Now, um, in terms of formatting the panel itself, um, in the text, you've got all the normal options. So you've got bold, italics, colours. You'll find that your brand colours are suggested down the bottom here so that you don't have to look up RGB numbers or hex codes. Um, alignment, buttons, numbers. You can hyperlink text. So if you uh, highlight whatever you want to hyperlink and click on the hyperlink, just make sure you include the full link address, including the HTTP, and click continue. Um, you can also do a button within a panel. So if we click on the button icon here, and again, put in some button text and put in a full link address, including the HTTP, we can have a button within a panel. Um, you can indent text. The, the next drop down here, the paragraph, that relates to the size of your fonts. So if we um, highlight the text that we want to change the size of, you'll find there's four default sizes. There'll be heading one, two, three. So one will be the largest and then two, three descending. And then paragraph, which will be your body text. So if you want to change the size of your text, just choose the one that's most applicable. 
until you're happy. Um, then we've got the placeholders as we said. Uh, now coming back up to the options wheel here, if we click on this you'll see there's a, a number of options we can choose to use in regard to this whole panel. So any panel that you choose that includes an, a, a photo or an image, you can link it. So if you've got more than one photo with your panel, it'll say image one, image two, etc. So just make sure again that you include the full link, including the HTTP if you are going to link an image. You can then look at arrangement. So you can change uh, where the photo sits. So you can change it to the other side if you want to. You can look at image inset, text inset, you can change your column split as well if you want your photo to be smaller or larger um, or for the text to take over more of the panel, you can do that. And you can also look at things like padding and background colours. So that's all in your panel options wheel. So you can see here that I've just changed the arrangement here. Um, then um, moving forward, we've got a lot of options for you. Like I said, there's the text only options, the text and image options, the image only options and there's some other page elements to help you with layout so you can add lines for a spacer or just purely space. Um, again you've got options there so you can change the colour of that if you want to. Um, that's all, all really really flexible. And then down the bottom we have got a couple of options for media in social media. So if you go to the options here uh, and links you can see that you can add new networks if you like or adjust your links here so that you can link to all your um, social media. And there's also a video option so if we drag and drop that in and click on choose video. Uh, if we've connected to your YouTube channel, all of your clips will come up here so that you can either um, um, search for one and find whichever one you like, or you can also put in another URL from YouTube um, to select that. So once you've found the one you want, just click on it to bring it through to your template. And there we go. So once you've built your email to a point that you want to have a look at it, obviously we haven't built it um, completely here, but when you want to have a look at a preview, just click on the preview eye over here in the top right and you'll be able to see firstly a mobile version and you can also toggle through to, uh, sorry, a desktop version and you can toggle through to a mobile version to see how it's responsive on mobiles. Uh, so that's just up at the top there. You can also send a preview to whoever you like. So if you wanted to send off um, before you sent the campaign, you wanted to send it to someone for approval, just pop in their email address and click send preview. Once you're done, just click done. And once you've finished um, building your email and you're happy to go ahead and attach it to a campaign, or you just want to save it as a draft uh, to come back to later, the last step is simply to save in the top right hand corner.